Uh, hey, what's up? Um, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Nice Zero, and welcome back to another video. Um, this might be a little scuffed because I did kind of just make what I wanted to talk about in this video. But before we get started, you already know the title. You already know what you're here for, so I don't really need to explain it to you as much. But um, if you could just like, um, subscribe, and comment. I read every comment. Go to the comments to see if I'm lying or not, but trust me, I ain't. Um, but in today's video, I just wanted to go because I think everybody that watches my videos isn't really, um, like they're like plat or gold or like maybe almost diamond or is in diamond. Um, so I wanted to give y'all tips that, um, helped me get to like where I am and oh where my. I am is, uh, I'm all right. Well, all right. Well, I'm, I'm in a, I'm in an okay position. Um, so I'm going to try to just give y'all some, some really good tips. I have it in my notes right here. It's a really good five right here that I think I do really want to go over and that will help you guys in the long run. So this is just a bonus one because this isn't even on my list. I think every time you get on, look at me just literally just getting on. What's the session time? Oh, you can see it at the top left. The session time is two minutes. Just got on the game. I think everybody should just immediately hop in and go into training for at least five minutes just to get your hands warmed up because I woke up maybe 10 minutes ago. Um, it just, and it just helps you get your, even if it's not a like character you play, just someone you want to mess around on like Mirage. I'm just going to go into small brawl or even small enigma just to warm up. But I can also like talk to y'all about this. So again, you literally don't even have to go in here and do a lot. Just simple movements to get your hands warmed up. Um, for, the, for like for whatever you're going to be doing, you know, just whatever. That's that's what I was trying to say. I looked over here for the camera, but it's right in front of me. Also, let me know if you guys like this camera. I don't, I don't, I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Custom. Okay, so let me go into a custom. One of my first tips I could give you guys. This is like a really, it's like a general tip, but like I have friends that are not in high elo, maybe gold or plat, and I say, yo, you need to do this, and they just like don't listen. So, I would say for the first major tip is pick a main that you want to run, like, for a while. Or someone you think's fun. Like, I was playing Jiro for a little bit. I don't even play Jiro. I was literally just running him for fun. And I was, like, peeking. Like, if you go to my, like, first Benjamin video, I was playing Jiro. And I was winning games with Jiro. And maybe the second one, I don't know if I was playing Jiro in it. But I was, like, he was getting played. Um... And just, like, finding a main, like, if we go to my character levels down here, meet the legends, um, sort A to Z, sort by XP, like, you can just see that all my levels are so high just from picking a main at that time. Like, Bodvar was the first person I ever hit diamond with, and I thought he was fun. Like, I got a lot of high characters, <laughs> yeah, I can't lie. Um, but just pick a main or stick to a weapon. I would say, so, like, say you're, like, really good at, like, bow. Okay, so stick with the bow. So if we go to Core Hollow right here, guys, we search up my name. And we search up my name. And we search up my name. Watch this, though. Watch this, though. Don't worry about this, guys. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. I don't know where my... I searched me up, like, not too long ago. Okay, there we go. Okay. We go to... Uh, Where's my weapons? There you go. Okay, axe, bow. I'm not playing that right now, but, like, I do normally. Like, you just see the hours I have on it. Even cannons finally getting up there. Like, you just stick to what you know and what you're good with. It, it, it really does, like, become a long way once you do something like that. But... I mean, that's, like, it's a subtle thing, but I think in the long run, it really will help you, um, just getting on to that. Um, the second tip I have is movement. Some of y'all, if we go into an offline right quick, some of y'all do this. What's a good map to do this on? Like, Demon Island, okay? So, there's a big thing about advantage state in this game. So, this is, like, literally perfectly set up. Y'all will sit over here on this side of the map and just wait you know 
but you're not really pressuring your opponent because your opponent can then like weapon throw and like just do literally do whatever to come and like cut pause to like um to like get an, an advantage on you because right now this is just neutral this is literally just neutral nothing's happening nobody's winning no one's losing right now okay but then if i'm over here if i'm like applying pressure to the best of my ability you know side lighting daring whatever with with my movement and not just sitting like this or just like this like going in and then going out or dashing like it's not really doing a lot but if i dash around or like you know run up dash away come back like applying pressure with my movement so then it's just not so like simple minded because that's how y'all really get read especially in the lower ranks is y'all are just doing something like brainless like this and not really thinking about like what you're doing you're kind of just looking at your opponent when you kind of have to be looking at yourself as well and realizing wait i'm actually just moving like an android and sometimes i do it as well like let me show you guys a good replay of mine where i probably get them off the edge and then i just uh and then i just uh start sitting um all right when did i lose this and then i just start sitting on stage i got second versus epi bro he's just better than me um i don't know what's a good sign that i will like have that like have me doing that look at how early this guy dies Look at how long I stay alive. Loki just to go. Okay. But like I get I get them off and then I just sit up top. Which I could apply more pressure, but that's not really relatively like a bad thing. But honestly, for a second big tip, if y'all really are getting good, um, I would just say movement. I would go to small enigma. Pavelski has a very good movement guide that I've literally watched and uh tried to master when he was like just talking about doing like this and like uh just going around each edge and like uh like I forget the like actual term to this. I forgot what it's called. Okay. I'm some shit. But yeah, it's like this is what he was talking about like snapping to the ledge ledge canceling or something like that i don't i don't really know he has a really good guide on it 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 it, it kind of gets like the brain function like about how moving around really inflicts the game i did not mean to talk all right um um and um the third i would say again is um knowing everything about the game like what you're going into so say i'm going against a lin fey okay so or even not even just knowing fully your opponent but knowing like your character so like okay i'm on i'm on axe okay say i'm on axe and then we have jiro right here we do we need to get into the game for this to actually work okay oh great we already have hammer so i silent nair what do i have after that you know knowing what either you have or the opponent has to do so after Satellite Nair, he's not really low. I can't recover, obviously. But I could wait for a dodge down and then Satellite um, Sayer or Satellite Nair again. Or Satellite Sayer and then recovery now because he's lower. You feel me? It's knowing your options at every type of health on each weapon and knowing what it does. Like, I could do this, this. Okay, if Jiro doesn't jump than i could or ground pound works you know it's like knowing these options that work what's true what's not true and then doing them because i see y'all doing the same thing like you're gonna run up end light you're gonna run up end light it's like yes in the long like it'll work where you are but in the long term it's not really like you're not really learning anything you're just end lighting like you're just waiting for him to walk in front of you and light walk in front of you and light or you jump around and then like, or you do like this, like that, this is that. When I see people do that, like this shit right here, like it's horrible. Like you're not really doing like this. This is how you want to be doing it right here. And then you can nair, you can like nair, or you could like um, dare and then stare instantly. Like that's how you want to be doing it, not jumping around. Like you want to jump instantly fast fall. If you're gonna be using axe, like I see that in like the low ranks all the time. It's like it's just interesting. Um but yeah, so just knowing your options and using them is like a really big thing in this game. And like I would definitely take your time out into like knowing what your characters fully like can do and what's the kill times. Like I don't really know when something's gonna kill, like on Sidra, but I know, like, if I see him on orange, um, I know that maybe, um, depending on where I hit, like, a side sig, 
um it like will kill like if he's this color it's a it's a like okay watch this i'm gonna get him over here stay on the side of the map okay let's just see he died from that we <laughs> fucked Terrace is strong but he also has three defense so you also gotta know what you're going up against okay three defense juro okay literally just bully him look at um where's juro's health at he's dead Obviously, this is an AI, but you, you get it. Like, that's why when I was playing Jiro, you can go back to the video, and I got a Taros, I was like, I lost. Because I have to work 10 times harder to not get hit, and that's more pressure on them. And then, like, you're already in an advantage state just because of the stats. It does matter, yo. It really does. It doesn't matter if you're not going to get hit, but it matters if you're getting hit. Like, the damage builds up fast, and it fucking, like, it hurts. Um... And then number four, I think this is like a big one too to get better. Hello, Mello. You want to see my cat? Oh, y'all can. <laughs> y'all can see him. Um, a big one is like um, sparring people that and talking with people that are better than you easily. I think I think the Brawlhalla Discord, um, stay hydrated, uh, Bread Mafia maybe. Just those discords with already good players that set up sparring. Like if we go to... The Fugachi server. I ain't trying to give Fugachi a thing. You can go up here and there's um, where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? Oh wait, I don't think I have it. I don't know if I have it. Uh, where is it? I'll pick that. But where's the uh, where's the sparring shit at, yo? What am I looking at? Okay, shotgun. Really, brother? Where's the fucking sparring? I'm actually trolling. Wait, guys, where do they put it? Okay, well, there's usually a, a thing where you can spar somebody. I don't know where it is, nor what I was looking at. But there's usually, like, set up spots, especially in the Brawlhalla Discord that I can't actually show you because I know where they are. Brawlhalla Discord, you literally go down Lobby 1, I join. All right, is anybody open? I just want to like show y'all okay no nothing is open but if you create one somebody will join in like fucking five minutes tops and while you're doing that you can literally just warm up it's easy play an experimental and and then that gives you someone to talk to but also someone to spar so then you can ask hey what do you think i'm doing wrong or whatever you know some people won't really like help you out like that but if you make a friend usually everybody in the brahala discord is nice because they're either decent at the game or like 1900 and like getting decent at the game like it's it's something like that there are some butt cheeks players in that shit but you know you don't really run into those because they don't really like get into that but it's honestly it's like it's honestly its own little small community because i do see like the same people in there like i'll see gilly in there a hundred times i'll see um like fabled raven i see right in there like i know who that is like um just a bunch of people that like just play that all the time because that's something they enjoy but the sparring and talking to people i think is like really it'll really benefit to you if that makes sense um because then you're just learning always information is amazing in this game um so that's a big one um but five and the most uninteresting one at all and it's gonna break y'all's mentals tremendously is just play rank just play ranked the only way you're gonna get better is through playing ranked but make sure it's valuable ranked gameplay you're not going in there you're not doing this like get off the pen play it normally and functionally like make sure you're going in there and trying to learn something so say you're going in there and you want to work on your off stage even if you win or lose push this fucking asshole off stage and then you go off stage and you kill him like that's that's how you're only going to get better at something is if you do it and you're only going to get better at this game by playing it and by playing it it's going to be playing ranked don't worry about your ranked i've put in my mind that i don't care about my elo i care about winning or losing and i will do whatever it takes to win that game and if i lose okay gg whatever if i lose horribly i gotta go watch that replay because i am some shit so um replays i guess you can add this as like a six tip you don't need to watch them but they will show you your mistakes i mean they will but they're obviously like in game they should be obvious to you as well like what the fuck are you getting hit by are you getting hit by an nsig six times in a row are you some shit like obviously then that, that's a big thing 
Um, and also, I actually want to add this as like an actual six tip: is don't be afraid to sig. Go watch. Um, go watch this video right here that I literally just posted. I watched my friend Rage and Rahala literally this video right here, and um, you'll see that he does not sig at all, but he needs to. Like, you're not mashing it. Like, if you hit, if you do this in game, hold on. If you do this in game, if you do this, art. No, sorry. If you just keep doing this, that is sig spam. But if you're moving around and sigging, like, that's not sig spamming. No one's saying that. Like, if you do some, something like this, like, whatever, if you do this, and then run up and end light, and then do this, and then, like, end sig again, that's not sig spamming. Don't classify that as sig spamming. You're, you're literally just using the kit, honestly, and that's how you're supposed to play the game. You're, like, people get this misinformation, like, you're supposed to just only use light attacks. Brother, you're cooked. No. Sig your fucking heart away because it really does make a difference because one side sig, especially on Taros the Jiro, it's just ending the game. He's on white. What does this bring him to? I didn't hit the full sig. I don't want to talk about it. Brings him to damn near yellow. Like, it's just use your sigs. They're so good, especially if they're strong. Like, look at how fast that sig comes out. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? use your sigs but that that's it for this video guys honestly i hope these tips do like th honestly the last one i feel like i cut that off just play ranked really like the only way you're gonna get better is through ranked and i mean it's it's annoying at first especially when you're trying to grind like i've been going through it myself but at the end of the day it's only gonna make you better as a player ain't that right Melo? okay well whatever he's doing um it really will just make you a better player just playing the game learning the game um and just have fun while you're doing it you know don't like stress yourself out like if you're if you're getting mad about losing in ranked go play with a friend or something like that just go take a break because it's really not worth it at the end of the day to like put stress on your brain for something that really doesn't matter because i sit here i get mad over ranked i go sit on tiktok for five minutes i'm like what am i even yelling about like what what was the like what was such a big thing to get mad about it really really isn't um but it obviously, like me being a competitive player, it bothers me when I'm doing it. But when I'm out not doing it, it I don't care at all. So just play the game, guys, if you guys want to get better. I hope you guys do get better. I want to see y'all improve, please. Um, um, yeah, and please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this helps you in any way in the comments. I really am interested to know if you guys are like learning from this, if this is like a video you guys enjoyed um because i don't know i'm kind of just like throwing this out here because a lot of people that do watch me aren't really the best players and they ask me like how do i get better at movement or like whatever 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 so i think this should um should cover most of that and like i feel like y'all will benefit from some of this um but yeah again join the discord link is in the description of of course um, you follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, you know, whatever you guys want to do, but discord is the best way. If you want to talk to me, if you want to know if I post a video, all of that is mucho gusto. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm out of here. Okay. But, um, yeah, let me know if it works for you and peace out.